Hi Taurus, welcome to your general tar tarot forecast for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me. Personal reading information, social media links, deaths I'm using, ways to tip or donate. Um, I have a wish list down there as well as my uh, PO box if you wish to send so some sort of mail. Uh, please check below. There's tons of stuff there. And uh, thank you to all those new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with the energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel to do these free readings for you is very much appreciated. So all the support you guys give the channel and helping in the channel's growth and being a part of that is truly appreciated. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you. This is a general tarot forecast, but we're going to see whatever comes out. It could be love. It could be money, finance, career. It could be a friend, family issues. It could be anything. And we're just going to take whatever comes. So we shall see. Only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. Um, I could pick up on past, present, or future energies also. Or maybe even the energy of somebody around you, but may be affecting you in some way. Also, so please keep that in mind. Okay, so this is a Zodiac Oracle. So if you're familiar with my readings, I always pull one of these at the beginning just to see what kind of energy may be around you. So if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, this is totally fine. This is just a little extra bonus. So let's see what could be around you, Taurus, in November. What kind of energy could be around Taurus or November? Spirit, please, just one card. For Taurus, please. Thank you so much. And I think we're going to take that one. Let's see what we get for you. And we have water energy, which can be uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. So water is all about um, healing energy. It's about going with the flow. It's about love and emotions, feelings, and that sort of energy. Um, so again, like it's very um, healing energy. Um, so I don't know, we'll see how that plays into your reading. It's like a caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy also. Hmm. So I don't know. We'll see. You know, also, you know, listening to your intuition, your gut feelings also. All right. So let's get an opening message for you, Taurus, for... November. Let's get an opening. My cards will shuffle. They're not going with the flow. So maybe there's something that, there we go, that you need to go uh, with the flow more with in your life or something in the month of November. Uh, maybe you or someone around you is being a little stubborn and there's a need to just kind of go with the flow with things. Could be anything. All right. So what is the opening message for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? For November, Spirit, please. What does Taurus need to know? What is their opening message for Taurus, please? One card for Taurus. I'll take that one. And we have trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be the one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. So your soul's inner guidance, and that's all about going with your intuition, your gut feelings, your higher knowing, you know, not like the logical what you think, but what is your gut, your heart, your soul trying to tell you. And that's what that um, water energy is going with the flow with your intuition and how you truly feel about something. Hmm. All right. And you see the soul lit up there. So maybe you're just not listening to um, your gut and your intuition about something. I think maybe you're using head and logic over um, trusting your inner knowing and how you're truly feeling. As with the water energy, just going with that. As with going with the flow, with the water energy. All right, so let's get... Taurus, your energy for November. So we have serenity. The most important relationship that you 
The most re important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. So you could be in an energy of again going with the flow here, uh, facing feelings and emotions of the past and just letting it go. Just letting it go. Just trust uh, in your inner inner knowing. So you can have peace and serenity kind of energy. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, self-sabotage. When you learn to let go, when you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. But I'm thinking, you know, listening to your mind and trying to, you know, think more logically over things and just kind of you're like maybe overthinking and just self-sabotaging yourself and there's a need to just let that all go and go with the flow and just trust just trust everything will be fine just trust your inner knowing if you're feeling a certain way that things will be okay will be fine and i can just trust that instead of overthinking it or getting all caught up in your head just go with the flow and just trust have that peace and serenity that you know what everything's just going to be fine you know all right so let's see what's going on here i mean this could be about anything it just could be um it could be work you know something with your work your career it could be about a lover it could be about family friend issues it could be just uh maybe you're just a very um high anxious person that worries too much about everything and there's a need just to let that go and go with the flow more all right let's get one more shuffle all right so what's going on with taurus why is serenity here what do they need to let go of what do they need to let go of to bring peace and harmony What's going on with them with Taurus for November Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Can we clarify that for Taurus? So we have the moon. So, <laughs> so Cancer Pisces doesn't have to be energy here. So, you know, this is an energy of not seeing things clearly, um, not knowing all the facts. It's kind of things look one way when they're not really that way. So this, again, I think is an energy of just like, overthinking everything thinking well it looks this way and this is what's going to happen but really that's not how it's going to happen i mean you you can't really see clearly into the future and how everything's going to happen and i feel like you're trying to just um like play it all out in your head like well this is going to happen that's going to happen but the moon is like you know what you you can't see everything you don't see everything clearly and it's time to start stop self-sabotaging yourself here uh, with all these ideas and thoughts that you're putting into your head, which is probably nonsense <laughs> or something like that. So, and everything, you know, the moon, everything will be revealed in divine timing. Uh, the sun always comes out, which reveals everything, you know, so. All right, so let's get more energy here, more energy here. Get more energy here for Taurus, please. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again, and now we have the Two of Pentacles, which is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So Eight of Cups here is an energy of walking away from something no longer fulfilling to you, but you always can walk, to walk towards something more fulfilling. So this could be an energy of leaving something to go do something better or just co just completely walking away like I'm done. And this is a two of pentacles energy about juggling, you know, juggling a lot of things around. It could be just a lot of thoughts and stuff in your head or literally juggling a lot around in your life, trying to even things out, like doing too much, having too much responsibility. Or you could be actually trying to balance out your finances. So... I feel, um, what, what I'm feeling is you just need to walk away from that 
energy of constantly overthinking everything or trying to play things out in your head um, of how things will play out, how things will go. Maybe you're just, um, you know, that's self-sabotage. So maybe you're just someone who's just very nervous, anxious, just overthinks everything and puts all these thoughts in your head. Well, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. And I think Spirit wants you to know, just you just need to walk away from that energy. You know, stop juggling around all that in your head. Just juggle all that around because you really don't know what the moon energy, what tomorrow holds. So there's no need to try to um, put all this nonsense out there that, you know, doesn't need to be there. So, and just trust as what trust there. Just trust. Just trust and go with the flow. The King of Pentacles, yeah, so this is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, in reverse, though. So you're not feeling stable about something. It could be your finances aren't stable right now, or you're just emotionally, physically not feeling stable and grounded and abundant right now for some reason. It's just you're not in your energy for some reason with that reversed. And that's your energy. All right, so let's get one more. Let's get one more. Let's get one more for you for November. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? So we got the world. So you may be closing out a cycle here, a chapter. It's starting a new chapter. And this is Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So to me it is because the world is the Earth. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So yet you may be worried about starting something new because you have the Eight of Cups here. So... You know, the world is about ending a new, ending a chapter, starting a new chapter. It's all about cycle phases and closing out things and starting new things. And that's the Eight of Cups energy also of walking away from something and also walking to something else. So it could be, you know, or maybe you're leaving one job and going to another job. And maybe while you're in this transition, maybe, you know, the finances just aren't there. So you're a little worried about that. Oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if I have to claim bankruptcy? Or what if I have to, you know, um, sell my house? Or I have to sell my car? Or I have to move? Or, you know, whatever here. I think, you know, you're putting all that energy, you may be putting all that energy out. And it's not good to do that. Because once you put a vibe out, a negative vibe out, sometimes you can attract that energy back to you. So you need to just be in, like, a high vibration and just trust and know as long as you work hard, you know, and you think logically and you, you know, move forward and you're smart about it, you know, things will be fine. You just have to trust because the green there is all about um, abundance, material, monetary things. So, yeah, the world. So you may be closing out a cycle. You could be even moving. You could be selling your house and moving somewhere else with the world. You could be moving to another country or something like that. You could be moving overseas as you see water in both these cards here, bodies of water. So, I mean, some of you could be even moving um, overseas and you're very worried about that. You're worried about that transition and you're just not feeling stable about it for some reason like you're wondering is this the right decision for me i maybe i made the wrong choice um but you need to make peace with it and just trust just trust so let's see your actual situation i mean this could be like i said some of you uh like leaving one job going to another job or maybe you've been unemployed for a while and you're looking um you're looking for a job right now All right, so what do we have here? So, yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles energy, your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So working hard, mastering your craft, putting in dedicated effort. So you're working hard. You're working hard right now. Whatever you're doing, you're working hard. You're making detailed plans, you know, taking a slow approach, being practical. Six of Wands right in the middle of your spread. So there will be success and victory here. There will be success and victory. You may not be seeing that. Because you're too focused on all these coins. And then we have the two of swords. Yeah, being indecisive, being um, just indecisive and just very maybe confused about this. But 
you have success and victory, you know, moving forward fearlessly with a lot of passion, drive, and ambition and being victorious. So, and you see the moon energy again in the back there. So Spirit wanted me to point that out as you have the moon up there. So you don't see that. You don't see that success and victory yet. You know, you're working hard or you're doing whatever you're doing here as you either move forward, transition, um, like I said, a new job or moving, physically moving or whatever you're doing here. You're into, you're like, I don't know if I made the right choice. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Uh, the moon energy again there. We have a lot of pictures here with the moon uh, here. So, right, so let's get, so there you go. The Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning here, a growth, abundance for the long term, for the future, investing wisely. And uh, knowing you will have growth and abundance laid on a firm foundation of this new beginning. So that's growth, abundance, material, monetary. So the new beginning is right there. So what else? So yeah, some of you, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is about, um, you know, career, finance, material things, stuff like that. So some of you may be starting a new job or something or totally changing careers or something like that or like I said some of you could be physically moving all right so let's see what we have here temperance so Sagittarius energy here but it doesn't have to be so we have I mean we have all signs here now we have all energies here but this is an energy of needing to balance yourself out of, of finding that peace that peaceful balanced place within yourself and just tempering yourself balancing yourself out healing this is healing energy um divine energy also and being patient so there's a need here just to be patient as you do go through this tr transition whatever it is for you because you do have this stable new beginning very stable a lot of growth abundance for the future something here whatever you're going to start here is going to last probably either a very long time or maybe even for your lifetime until you either retire or anything like that all right so let's get your advice let's get your advice yeah so there's a need here to um ten of wands here so yeah laying laying down burdens fire energy here um releasing thoughts burdens just i think you're just burdening your mind and your soul with all this energy that doesn't need to be there. And your advice is just to stop. <laughs> just stop. Lay it all down. Just stop with that energy. What else for your advice? You know, and whatever you're ending, Spirit wants you to know that this is something that you need to lay down and end. What else for your advice? What else for your advice? The Six of Swords. So yeah, you're moving and traveling to a better place here with the Six of Swords energy, air energy here. So leaving behind what's no longer serving you, learning all your lessons, and traveling into a more peaceful, harmonious, um, happy place, healing place. So wh wherever you're going, transitioning to, and again, with the travel with the boat here. So some of you, I feel, may be moving overseas. <clears throat> and you're wondering, am I doing the right thing? And Spirit wants you to know your advice is, yes, whatever ending maybe was burdensome, whatever you, you were doing or why you're moving, whatever those burdens were, you need to lay them down and you need to do this transition, this movement, this travel, whatever it is for you, because it will lead you to a better place. Wheel of Fortune. So there you go. Sagittarius energy again, but it doesn't have to be. Something fader for you. This is fader for you. This is divine timing. This is things going in a better direction. Things moving forward for you. Again, it can be material abundance too. Coming into a very abundant future. Moving forward. So yeah, this is divinely guided. Divinely guided for you. Things going in your favor. Things going in a better direction. Things moving forward. Things moving. You got two cards are moving forward with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. And the Fool. So, yep. The advice is to take this leap of faith to jump in with both feet, reset and restart at zero and trust that everything will be fine. You know, just to take that leap. 
So that's uh, Aquarian energy, but it doesn't have to be. So Spare wants you to know to take this leap of faith, to leave behind whatever burdens that were no longer serving you and lay down the burdens of all this self-deceit, self-sabotage, uh, indecisive, all these thoughts you're just juggling around in your head about am I doing the right thing, you know, I don't know here. Let it all go because fate and destiny is here for you, moving you forward to a better place and to take that leap. Wow. So let's get your outcome. Let's get your possible outcome for November and beyond. This doesn't have to be exactly for November. I mean, this can be future energies, like I said, but let's get a possible outcome here. So we got the Seven of Swords energy. So again, that's your energy of being like, this could be deceit, self-deceit. This can be just like deceiving yourself, like filling your head with all this negative energy. Still, I think even though deep down, you know, going with the flow and just trusting that, you know it's the right thing, but still you're still filling your head with all this deceptive, self-sabotaging energy, which you don't need to do. Oh, all right. You know, it's kind of like an energy of like sneaking away, like being sneaky kind of energy also. And I don't know if that means anything to anybody. Uh, maybe you feel like you're sneaking out of a situation or you feel like you're being deceptive about a situation. Um, I, I don't know, something with that energy. So why is that here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Queen of Wands. So fire energy doesn't have to be. So, you know, this is very passionate, uh, excited energy, going after what you want, a lot of drive, ambition. This could also be entrepreneurship type of energy. Um, someone who has very creative ideas, um, is very passionate about what they do, and they just move forward fearlessly, as with the Fool there, they're just taping, taking that leap. And knowing things will be fine because you have, look how tall that sunflower is. So, you know, know, knowing there is all this growth and abundance and just trusting that and being very strong. So let's see what else for your possible outcome. So we have the Page of Cups energy here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So, and you have the rainbow there too, which is about luck. So, I mean, the page is communication, uh, water energy, as water energy here. So, I mean, you could be, like, over-apologizing to people because you're doing this for some reason. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. I don't know why. It's like you feel sorry. You feel like, because you have the two of swords, like, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. And maybe you feel you're deceiving a lot of people around you by, you know, your friends and your family by like uprooting and leaving and like totally like moving across country overseas or something like that. And maybe you're constantly apologizing. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, and it's like, you don't need to do that. <laughs> you don't need to do that. You just need to be in this strong, confident energy. I mean, with all the ways that we can keep contact with, family, friends, uh, social media, you know, and things like that. There's no need to apologize. You could still keep contact with your friends and family. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, three of swords. So, yeah, hurt, hurt, pain. So, if you, you know, you feel like you're stabbing everybody in the heart by doing this. And you're hurting your own heart by, you know, being in this energy feeling like sorry and feeling bad and like you're deceiving everybody and you know you don't have to be in that energy yeah you just need to be in empress energy here just being very strong confident brave knowing your value your worth like you're doing what's best for you and that's just how it is and just standing up for that and being very strong kind of energy i mean the empress embodies all the queens truth stability love compassion passion and drive so also she gives birth to new things so you could you know this is this new thing that you're doing you just need to stand up for it and know you're doing the best for you the empress energy king so you got the king and queen of wands here so i think it's just double confirmation i mean this can be male female doesn't matter if you're not an empress you can be an emperor 
I mean, it's all just energy. So again, a double confirmation here of just being strong, courageous, brave, and passionate, and go-getter, and just do it kind of energy. And now the King of Cups. So you got now all this King and Queen energy of knowing, you know, it's okay to love yourself. It's okay to have love, compassion for yourself, you know, and also for others. But, you know, you it's okay. Because you do have the sun here, Leo. Happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment energy. Um, most positive card in the deck. So in that, you got the moon. And then what did I say? The sun always comes out. So there's no need to worry here because you have the most favorable card here for your success, victory, happiness, joy, everything here. It's okay to love yourself. It's okay to stand up for yourself and be passionate and go after what you want. Be in your power and get out of this three of swords energy that you feel like you're deceiving and hurting everybody. And in turn, you're also doing the same to yourself when there's no need to do that because it's just self-sabotage here. Just trust and go with the flow. All right, so let's get a few more messages for you, Taurus. But Taurus, if you do like how I read, you like my style, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the um, bell and hit the all option, and you'll be notified of every single reading, and you won't miss out. I do four readings a month. So don't miss them. I do a general tarot forecast like this. I do a love connection reading. I do a reading for singles in love, who's coming towards you, when, where, how, what kind of connection it will be. And I also do a spirit guide messages reading, uh, what you need to know at this time from spirit. So if you're interested in all those, please do subscribe and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. All right, so what extra messages... Do we have a Taurus for November? What other extra messages do we have for Taurus for November? We have, you are stronger than you know. And I have been saying that all through this reading is that you need to be in that energy and stop, stop doing all this self-sabotage and um, juggling and, you know, th overthinking because you are stronger than you know. All right, so what else do we have for Taurus? Seeking and finding. So I think whatever you're seeking to do here, whatever you're, you know, you're going to, whatever you're, um, whatever transition you're doing and whatever you're seeking to transition to, I think is where you're going to find all that growth, abundance, and that sun energy. So... I think you will find your peace, your harmony, your balance, your happiness, your joy, everything. Once you get to that spot, spot that whatever you're doing here and you find it and you're there, you're going to have complete bliss because you have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Sun, victory here, heavenly signs. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but if you have passed over loved ones and you're getting signs and you're wondering... You know, are these signs from passed over loved ones or anything like that? If anybody's wondering about that, this may just be a separate message that, yes, they are signs from your passed over loved ones, perhaps. Or maybe, you know, pay attention to everything around you. Everything from signs, you know, like signs on the road to license plates to um, things that you find every day or other people's conversations. You may hear a word or you may hear them talk about something that has to do about this transition and it's like confirmation for you. So pay attention to everything around you. Everything happens for a reason. All right, so any other messages for Taurus for November? Are there any other messages for Taurus? New exercise program, <laughs> okay. That might be a message for some people that you need to take better care of yourself. If you've been uh, not, I think that is just an extra message. It's time to take care of yourself. On the bottom of the deck, we have grief work. So that could be an extra message for somebody. And that could go along here with the heavenly signs. If you've had someone who's just recently passed over, if you haven't dealt with that, if you haven't 
fully grieved for that. It's time to do that. Uh, and this could be, you know, the new exercise program is exercising that grief work, like doing the work of trying to mend and heal from something and just grieving it, fully grieving it. And by doing that, I think you will find you will get more peace and balance in your life. So that's just probably extra message for some people. Um, what else under there? So retirement. So maybe some of you are even retiring and you're making a big, big change in your life, you know, moving, you know, maybe you've always wanted to, you know, move overseas or something like that. And, uh, and now you're able to do that. So some, for some, it could be about retiring. All right, Taurus, I'm going to end it there <laughs> before I go through the whole deck. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.